Good morning, Mojave County. This is Jansen Viegas, and welcome to the Jansen Show. Today, we have the man, the myth, the legend, Mitch Mulcahy. Welcome, Mitch. Thanks, and he guys. is owner of Heatwave CrossFit. Mitch, thank you so much for being here today. Tell us a little bit about your wonderful establishment. Uh, thank you. Uh, pleasure to be here. Um, well, it's Heatwave CrossFit. Uh, we're located in Fort Mojave, right next door to Finley Used Car Auto. Um, we are specialize in forging fitness uh we're a crossfit gym and we've been open for about nine years now uh yeah formally crossfit 86426 um we're a class-based fitness exercise so we've got a coach uh on staff that leads all the classes you just come in get your fitness on and in an hour get pumped you know yeah, 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 yeah we yeah, hear yeah. you guys because we're right next door to each other in a very similar building actually yeah. And uh, as you see that we're actually right in front of Heatwave CrossFit right now. The phone number, as you see, is 702-325-4048. But yeah, it's uh, it's really nice to hear you guys getting it in, getting a good workout. Um, we definitely uh, get excited over here, listen to our music. I got a Super Saiyan next to my desk, so I get extremely pumped up when I'm working. <laughs> well, not working out, but working. That's what we, we like to say. It's a be make it the best hour of your day where I was you gonna come say in and just crank up the music and get after it i was gonna say you don't work out yet no, no he hasn't no, got you yet. in there yet he's right working here. on it though right here the spirit fingers <laughs> i get it every uh -oh, the sound morning. effects are coming out all right <laughs> cool so uh so you said you've been there for about nine years um how have you seen your business grown from where you had it to where it is now um well there were a uh, couple owners actually christina shetley and uh, candace ruckle opened it up and i was a trainer Ooh. for the first year yeah and then uh I, I bought in with them and we're co-owners for another couple years and then fo so f I just came up on my five year I've been a uh, sole owner for five wow, years cool. yeah um, and yeah I mean we, we've we've had that kind of core membership throughout the whole thing and then we've just been growing outside of that you know so, so what does CrossFit workouts imply I mean um, obviously I you know I'm a gym rat myself I know how, you know but uh, what does CrossFit imply? I mean, is it like Olympic style workouts? Or we're gonna run a video and let him talk about it. How's that? <laughs> Let's, do Let's do it. it. Oh, right. right on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. So you just talk about what's going on here. Yeah. Well, I mean, first off, they call it CrossFit. They don't. They necessarily call it a gym. They call it a box. Is because you just need kind of need four walls uh, inside. As you can see, there's not a lot of equipment besides kind of the free weights here. So um, you mentioned Olympic lifting, and right there, Robbie's doing a thruster which um, is just not an Olympic lift, but we do a lot of Olympic lifting. We do weight lifting, uh, all free weights. It's not like your, the hack squats or anything like that. You don't see those pieces of equipment. Cool, 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 uh, cool. And really the, the kind of the general idea of that is like if you put on, you know, you're a gym rat you're talking about. Yeah. You go in and you put on <clears throat> 300 pounds on the bench press. I usually do. Yeah, so if you're going to do that <laughs> and they're like, all right, spot me, go ahead and take this off. You gonna be able to lift that? No. And what's gonna happen when it comes down on you? You're gonna hurt yourself. <laughs> yeah, right. You're just, it's gonna be crashing down. So here, it's like if you if you can lift it off the floor, you're gonna be able to lift it. So these guys, it's kind of it, 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 a lot of things are like, oh, it's not safe. But well, if you're not able to move around it and pick it up to begin with, then you're not gonna be able to move it. You're not right. And you have people there to guide you regardless. All you know. right. Yeah. You'll see my coach Alex here. Uh, she's walking around in this video and we do have coaches trained coaches uh, through every workout um, so really you kind of walk you walk in the doors right off the bat and you'll be greeted with a the coach there's Alex right there walking by checking making sure form. everybody's mm -hmm. doing yep. everything yep and so when you come in uh, just I mean you see all these friendly faces here and then you uh, they're all familiar too to be honest it's pretty cool <laughs> yeah yeah um, yeah, but friends, they're, they're like family members. I, we call them the CrossFit family just cause it's, you just get that tight knit group. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we can relate. We have Finley fam. Yeah. Right. Cool. That's absolutely awesome. Yeah. Uh, I also noticed you have a padded floor and if you can't handle the weight, you can just drop them and it, oh, yeah. it just bounces off the padded floor. It does it's not a big deal. You know, nothing breaks. It's Correct. pretty cool actually. Yeah. We don't have those cast iron plates. Those are rubber bumper plates. They call them. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. And so when you come, I mean, just run down to the classes, you come in and the coach, 
uh, is there and she'll go over he or she will go over the warm up or will go over the workout kind of tell you what it's going to be about and then you can and then just demonstrate everything and then go over the warm up and then you go kind of go over a skill work uh, with an empty barbell or even a PVC to start out with you guys know how light PVC is right just yeah work on form that's just technique going. yeah yeah and just do some technique work or some skill work and then get after it work your way up yeah. What what do you think would be your favorite workout within the CrossFit com- oh the box gosh. within and, the box? And you know and you know what the I love CrossFit because I don't have a favorite. I'm kind of a spaz, and so <laughs> I I don't stick with something for too long. And so I like the fact that it's constantly varied, and right. so there's not a workout where it's like. Um, we have benchmark work to, workouts that'll come once or twice a year, you know, and so <clears throat> we'll get those going. But I don't have a favorite. I like long chippers. I like short sprints. I like, you know, Olympic lifts. I like back squats. And so the fact that it's constantly varied is what keeps me around. You know, um, you can't see it right now because they're they're hanging up, but you have the ropes that they climb too. I think that's kind of a cool thing. Oh, awesome. Um, when the ropes are hanging down, you yeah. climb those ropes all the way to the top and then back down. That's a workout, too. I don't know if you've ever done anything like that. I have, but it's usually getting down that's sketchier on my end. You, just, I can get you, up you grab cool. a rope and you swing and let go and go into the yeah, river. Like yeah, like Tarzan. Make the noise and everything. <laughs> When our teen class in the summer, that's one of our games. We'll set up those foam rollers, and they, they'll get they'll stand on a box and swing and see how many. It's like bowling. Oh, wow. Tarzan bowling, yeah. They this love is that another game. part of the workout here. Once they've done lifting, explain what they're doing now. And so these are just – they're doing burpees over a bar. And so a lot of it's just kind of – it's just max effort. And so it's not just coming in to doing a couple lifts. You're, they're getting their cardio in. They're not only lifting. Right. Before this, they did an 800 meter run, mm-hmm. and so you're getting. It's not just lifting; is really kind of, I guess, what you're getting at. They do body we do, weight, everything. Huh? Yes, yes. We have. There's weightlifting, there's conditioning, and then there's gymnastics. And so this, anything that's kind of just body weight stuff is is more cardio. And then gymnastics is kind of moving yourself around that. You see that rig there where and some rings where you can do muscle ups and ring rows or right. anything like that. No, and I've been encouraged to that CrossFit would be a good uh route to take for my cuz right now I just checked yesterday I'm 200 pounds right now. Me too, man. Yeah. How but tall you're are you? like 6 foot. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. I'm 5'5". Five, five. Uh, the, and uh, it, that scale, man, it just kind of, kind of drives me nuts. We've got an in-body machine that tests everything. And so you can see your body fat, your, your muscle mass, your water weight, your body fat, your fat, and it's just er, in, in your muscle mass. It's, it's awesome. Oh, so wow. Coming in and doing one of those machines and you don't have to be a member to do one of those, uh, in bodies. If you want to come in and it's 15 bucks for one, or you can buy a, a six, uh, session or whatever, where you come in. It takes a couple minutes, and you can even meet with our nutrition coach, Karen Mitchell. She's wow. the best. Yeah. So you have everybody pretty much on site to, to provide you what you need to to accommodate your journey moving forward, your fitness journey and stuff. Do you see a lot of transformations being within that? Oh, yeah. Unbelievable. Uh, this My man Carlos right here. Uh, yeah, Sam he's Rack, Sushi chef, dude. Oh, it's the best. Yeah, but, hell yeah. Uh, he, he came in, and he was just like, I want to get shredded coach. And, and, now, and now we just had our first competition and he goes, I just want to get strong. I want to get stronger. Cause he sees those guys. Right. Like, like I, I'm not the biggest guy, but I, I mean, I can lift a little bit more than he can. And so that's just, it's not, it's not about the size. It's just when you see somebody throwing around 300 pounds, it's like, You're like I want it Whoa. too. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's so that's dope. the thing. You yeah. can tell that it's kind of that type of uh, environment, you know, where it's just competitive and everybody's trying to outperform or just, you know, compete with the better people. That's awesome. Yeah. And so what I talked about benchmark workouts and I, I just love these because, so he did this last year at this time, uh, 120, we did this last year. So it's 131. We did it. And he, a year later, he did 10 pounds more on the workout and he dropped two minutes. Wow. wow. And so it's like, Hey, That's I, I, obvious might, progress. Yeah, I, might, I might not look that much greater, but I'm physically fitter. You know, if something happens, I, I, I'm physically fitter. And that's the goal is just to be healthier. I agree. A, lot of, a lot of people don't realize that when you do, do these workouts, how much better you feel and start feeling in the long run as far as like health issues, um, uh, your your personality. Everything. Um, yeah, everything. Your brain starts working better. Oh, I mean, God. it does a lot for you. Yeah, yeah. And I love that. We've got a couple lawyers, judges that did detectives and they're, they're all just like i feel better I, might, I get more productive we had a couple of real estate agents alex chandler look her up she she's just like my day is just better after a workout i just wow. i get more stuff mm-hmm. done what's yeah. the earliest that you start there 
uh, first class is 5 a.m. And you'll see. 5 a.m. Uh, yeah, Abby or I are usually your coach. Uh, Early risers. Yes, Absolutely. yes, yes. So, like, right now, it just feels like, oh, if somebody's like, good morning. It's like, ah, oh, it's, it's not good. It's, <laughs> like four hours later. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> Yeah, uh, but it, it is. It's just a good atmosphere. As you saw Carlos, when he finished up, he's just clapping and just gets you pumped up, man. Yeah, absolutely. Just working out with your friends, high-fiving. Really cool. That, that's one thing I, I learned about when you work out. You feel much better throughout the day. I mean, you're wide awake. You're, you feel stronger. I don't know if it's mental or you, you actually are, but oh. I, I think if you become eventually. No, yeah. That I mean – Everywhere that you look or every person that is like, you know, of great success, they usually say that, that you have to get up around five in the morning and, you know, get your day going. Yeah. Get started. Me and The Rock, we have a lot in common. Yeah, sure. We do. Mm -hmm. Ish. But in general, um, so within CrossFit, is there any like uh, crazy stories that you have anybody getting hurt or anything like that? Or is it usually pretty, pretty chill environment? People don't usually. I mean, it, it really, though, it's it's. Just like with anything, if you do too much too soon, if you go too heavy, you, I mean, it's, you're, you're going to get hurt. There's going to be some injuries, you know. Like, mm -hmm. uh, I, if you – statistically, more people are going to get hurt in basketball. You're going to get more hurt with your knees running for long distances. It's just it, – Yeah, at least it, you have it, somebody there on site. Like, if you right. go to the gym, I've seen people – pop their stuff just because they assume they can do something you know? yeah oh for sure and yeah that's what i mean the benefit of the coaches but i mean you if you look at it you're like oh you're playing basketball up you're gonna roll your ankle and it, it's gonna happen and right. so even with crossfit like you're you're doing fast movements as you're fatigued so yeah you you might roll your ankle you might you know do something get those niggles in your wrists or whatnot or just throughout your body but you just have to take your time and with like right now a lot of people just bit off more than they could chew in january and you're like oh i'm exhausted yeah you can't do too much too soon i've talked to you about that before like, yes if you're getting into your nutrition don't just go cut everything like you still need if you're drinking diet coke just cut it down a little bit and then and then just kind of wean it out don't go full bore right off the bat because it's not sustainable and i can attest to that i did that like cold turkey trying to change everything and i actually ended up gaining weight got worse huh yeah, yeah it's weird yeah, yeah. it's yeah, like yeah. a cycle at this and, point and that's what's great about that in body because it, it, i mean you'll see the dates that you take it and then you'll see your increased muscle mass and then you'll see decrease in your body fat yeah. so how does the in body work goes up uh, it's just, it's really a scale that you step on and it's got those electrodes and you put in your hands and you're, you're barefoot and your bare bare hands on it and then it just goes through and just reads your body and so it, it gives you that wow that's yeah. super cool yeah it's, it, it is it's a, it's a great tool because it's like uh, whenever you're feeling like oh man look at that scale and then you look at it and be like wow I, I dropped two percent body fat or i drop percent body fat and i have a little bit more muscle so yeah so you're not thinking about weight at that point no you're thinking looking about at the importance of and, yeah oh i drop body fat wow yeah. another important thing that i thought that was pretty interesting is a lot of people are timid to go into a, any kind of gym or you know crossfit place like you own um they're they're just like oh my god i can't go in there you know i, I don't have the strength i don't i don't look good or whatever you guys are so friendly in there, and I've heard it from a few different people that um, you accept them as they are. It doesn't matter if you're big, small, you <laughs> yeah, know what right. I mean? And and you'll work with them, you know? Come in, don't be shy, we'll get you going on a program, and before you know it, they're excited to go back. Yes, oh, for sure. I've heard that and too. even if you saw that video, there was one person with a barbell, and they'd just say, you gotta start where, we, we meet you where you're at. If you check out our Instagram on Heatwave CrossFit, we've got, uh, and you were talking about uh, rope climbing, and I just posted about that the other day, uh, um, just the scaling options of it to where people to begin, we're, we're, you're doing ring rows to get that pulling action, and then you go, and then you're climbing the rope, or just like with your arms going down from the floor to helping yourself up with the rope, and then you're working on your footwork with it, and, and so you're, you're saying being afraid of being at the top, well, if we'll teach you how to do your, um, there's a Spanish hook or a J hook, where you're just holding your feet. So even if you let go at the top, your feet are locked in, mm. so you're not going anywhere. Okay. You know, and then so it, we teach you those skills before we put you up to the top. Right. Cool. <laughs> they don't just say, get up there. Yeah, right. Yeah, I was always <laughs> wondering. Good luck getting down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many, like, different uh, 
workout moves and like maneuvers, yes. you know, and all oh. that? Is it just like momentum based or? It, it, it's all it, core to extremity, man. If you've got a weak core, you're not going to be able to do anything. Even sitting here, if I have a weak core, my head's going to be on this table. Yeah, right, right. Sit oh. up, big chest there. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it, walking, like what happens when you start to get a little bit more, you've got to start incorporating that, that core. Otherwise, you're just going to fall over. You're going to be running side to side. And you can see as people get tired as they run, they'll start wobbling because they're, they're losing that core strength. Right. Yeah. I do um, a lot of that wobbling part. Back, <laughs> uh, back to that intimidating. It, it, it's super intimidating. As you saw those people just getting after it, it it's tough. Um, but what I did I, last night, I read an, a CrossFit article, and it was um, don't wait to start. Don't wait to get in shape before you start. Like you're, That's Sandra right there. I think I don't want to, you know, you can't name ages, but she's not. A spring chicken she's got right old, she's got grandchildren your age dude she's so, getting it she's she, getting she, it she good is, she is yeah she, she has a, some weight on that barbell yeah <laughs> right and it's funny just because you'll get some other younger guys in there and, it, and that's what's intimidating too is because you've got you've got some of these ladies that are doing handstand push-ups and then a guy comes in there and can't put 45 pound bar above his head it's like right it's intimidating but you've got to just check your ego at the door because if you've got that then you're just gonna you're gonna be home you're gonna be out of there yeah you know? that'll not help you in anything then there's this guy he makes it look easy. Mm -hmm. So do you diet or anything like that? I mean, being, you know, the coach and the, the leader here within the Heat Wave CrossFit, do you diet pretty well or are you? What, what do you mean diet? Like, do you eat a certain way? Yeah, I eat, I eat, I eat healthy, man. And I, then the reason why I call it a diet is because it's my, that's what I eat. I guess, you know, people are like, oh, I'm going on a diet. I'm like, so you're changing what you eat now? What What's the deal? I eat, right. You know, I eat whole foods. I eat real foods. I eat the. I eat chicken. That's the I way you eat. Period. Eat, you don't diet because yeah. it's what you. No. Right. How right. you eat. It's so the we, amount. Yes. It's the amount oh, you eat. Dude, I can house some food. I'll tell you that. <laughs> but it's it's got a large stomach. If I feel like <laughs> if I feel like I'm just lagging a little bit, I'll eat a little bit cleaner, which means. You know, I'm not going to have the chips and salsa and eat the two baskets. Okay, I, 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 I'll, ha over there. I'll have it. I'll have it. Oh, for me too, man. And, <laughs> yeah, and, and if I awesome. get those chips and salsa out, the baskets are just coming out and they're gone. But, right. You know, it, stop. It's, the dollar. I'll pay the dollar. It doesn't matter. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's kind of the big thing is just eating eating clean. And then if it's just like, oh, I'm not feeling that great. My workouts aren't going well. Then I'm, I'm going to, you know, home back on those refined foods and the processed stuff. And for the most part, you stay in your, um, in like, what would you call it? So you're the coach and they're the students? Uh, we Athletes. Is athletes, athletes, yeah, I was going to say. So you stay in your athletes' ears. You turn ears. into an athlete, for yeah, sure. Yeah, and some of them want to get more dialed in, and some of them just don't want to hear it from you, you know? they, they Right. They just, just do their own thing. And right, right, yeah. and, and it works for them, and, and some of them, no matter what the, what you tell them, they're, they're still going to do their own thing. Yeah. Know, just, yeah, yeah. So, stubborn. Like, oh, man, you're stubborn. shooting yourself in the foot. <laughs> right. I remember when I was, you know uh, – changing my lifestyle you would stay consistently anytime we met there at that driveway you would tell me all the time you know how's how's your eating going how's your water intake you know and uh, having that person in your ear you know it makes a difference because you do start thinking about it again you're like oh don't don't let up you know you have to stay moving forward especially when it comes to changing your lifestyle from addicted to preservatives and bad food and you know carbohydrates and a lot of that to I want to start eating healthier. I mean, you have to almost break free of those chains because it's not. So far, it has not been easy for me. You know. Oh no, not at all. I, I, I it's, it's not easy, and that's the thing. Uh, it's, it's, it's a, it's a grind. It is. It's definitely a grind. It's something you got to just kind of push yourself to do, and then pretty soon it becomes a habit. What do you think about vitamins? Do you drink any vitamins or anything like I, that? I do. I take uh, magnesium omega threes, and that's about it. Magnesium just for my muscle recovery, and then omega threes just for my heart health. Um, I, it's, there's a saying out there that's just the, the vitamins and supplements, it's expensive pee. You know, you're putting that in your body and you just go through it. Like mm -hmm. if you would spend that time on eating nutritional foods, you don't need those supplements. You know, right. like right. I, 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 no, so I don't, I, <laughs> I think it's a waste of money. I, I, right. It is. No, that but, makes sense. Yeah. I think that, uh, everything could be cured with thin, like, uh, what is already available, you know, yeah. my mom's big on it, juicing and garlic and ginger. It's like, uh, Putting good things in your body. Yeah, yeah. nonstop. Yeah. And, and, and the way we work out, you kind of have to eat well, you know, because if you're in there and you and you and it, 
of course you got to have that piece of cake at a birthday party, things like <laughs> that. I mean, you, you just have to. It's kind of abnormal not to, you know. And then you're just like, oh, I can feel that pizza, and they just kind of joke about it, you know. As long as you're not having that every night, it's not a big deal. So are there any, um, like, competitions that you guys are a part of that you guys go out and travel to do? I mean. Yeah, we just had one this last weekend in Havasu. The, we put one on in the past, but then COVID kind of right. turned it around, and now we, we haven't done another one yet. Um, yeah, we just had one in Havasu, and we had 10 athletes go to it. There's another one in Kingman in October. Uh, we've got another one. Uh, Vegas has one, the Valentine's Day Massacre or something like that up in Sin City CrossFit. And, yeah, we can go up and compete in those. So what made you think of getting CrossFit here in this community? I mean, it's not something that's really been, in my experience, even an idea. I haven't seen it any time or anywhere around here. What made you get into it? <laughs> you know what? I was playing in a basketball tournament um, down in Parker with Tim Williams, the chairman of the tribe. Cool. And yeah, and he goes, hey, and I was coaching cross country at the time. So his, just one of his, uh, Shan Lewis's daughter was running down there and he's like, hey, I want you to incorporate this with some of your cross country stuff. Come on down to the tribe and start working out with us. And so uh, when I was coaching at River Valley, I would go down to the tribe and do it every day. And uh, I was doing it for about a year daily incorporating into, into cross country. And then, I was, and then, and then that's when Christina and uh, Candace knew I kind of had a background in it and said, hey, do, would you like to train? We're opening this up. Okay, so cool. I just jumped mm -hmm. on board with that, and I, would, I was One thing led to another. And, yeah, right. Wow, and then, thank and God. It was just kind of like I, I fell in love with it. And one of my buddies, Josh Wilson, he was doing it with me for a while, and then he moved away and started Sturgis CrossFit. Mm. So, yeah, up cool. Sturgis, South really Dakota. Really cool. Uh, and then I've got another buddy, MJ. He started doing it at the tribe with me after that, and he owns uh, Cold Front. Cross wow, you're starting there. some trends. Yeah, man. That's we just, awesome. We, we just Thank fell God. in love with it. You know, we're competitive. We're competitive guys, and we. Yeah, for you sure. Know, MJ, they're college athletes, and it was just like when you when you have that competitive nature, you it, it goes with it. And for me, I I was competing at five Ks. I mean, that was really the only competition I'd have where it was like, hey, I'd get out and go for a run and. Run, run against other people. Have you always been an athlete? I mean, in high school and all that, did you compete? Uh, yeah, and... yeah, yeah. Somebody asked me if I played football the other day, so I had to flex on him a little bit. Really? <laughs> Gangster. Hell yeah. <laughs> He's like football, baseball, basketball. I'm a softball yeah, right. Well, I, mean, I, I grew up in a small town in Nebraska, so okay. it was just like you pl I played it all. There were right. 200 okay, cool. kids in my high school, yeah. What kind of things were they doing in Nebraska, oh. aside from sports? Oh, man. Chase cattle. Really no, cool. No, it, Dodge uh, <laughs> tornadoes. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Yeah. No, that's why I moved out here. I started teaching in uh, Nebraska, and one of my buddies, MJ, who I moved down here with, he they recruited him out here, and there because there wasn't any jobs in Nebraska. So I decided, yeah, let's go down and take a look. And so we moved down here. Oh, it's been 18 years, I believe. Wow. Yeah. Big difference in climate change. Oh my gosh. And one people too. Like, oh yeah. For it sure. just felt like it was constant summertime. I was like, geez, it's, it's just stop. Fun. Yeah, right it is. underneath the eyes. And you got uh, Havasu right down the street. That's like the biggest party place in the world. <laughs> it's I, I, oh, oh, is it? Is it? It's one of oh. them. <laughs> that yeah. That, I, haven't, I haven't been down there for not that. Me. No, no. Yeah. Or Vegas or. I've been wanting to have a hot girl no, summer. Yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> one of the things we love about that that area, well, when I moved down here is. You can go to Flagstaff and you can snowboard. You can go to L.A. and be in the beach. You can go down to Phoenix, have the right. city life, and then and have a Sioux and Vegas. And it's a hub. Like it's every a good home base. We gone. Oh my gosh, it is. You can yeah. get anywhere within five hours, and it's cheap. Whether yeah. it's skiing, surfing, right, motocross, whatever you like to yeah. do. Yeah, it, it, for sure. And then and cheap flights from Vegas. So you know, I go back and see my family. Before I had a child, it was four times, four, five times a year. I'd be going back to Colorado and visit with my family and. Nebraska and everything. I would uh, recommend anybody who's watching out there that that's that is an athlete or or you know trying to do something like race or you know compete in any sort of way where you need conditioning. Heat wave CrossFit is probably the best thing for you, not just to go out and lift weights because that's only going to get your upper body, you know, stronger or bigger, whatever you yeah you know, like Jansen over there. But um, why don't you go ahead and tell people? Uh, how easy it is to sign up with you guys what tell them the process that they need to do to come down to 4669 apollo road here in fort mojave tell them how easy it is i it, watch we can open up the door right here just step on it <laughs> I, even even if you're intimidated just to come on in uh you can text come see that. you yeah right i mean just call that number text that number hit us you can email us you can instagram facebook anything heatwave crossfit at gmail.com and and just say hey this is where i'm at this is what i want to do i want to i want to lose weight i want to get stronger i want to be a better athlete i want to 
it, it, anything. I want to get healthier. I want a longevity of life. It, it's just, I, I want to meet some friends, like it, all of that, you know, and then we'll come in and we've got new contracts now where you can sign up for a year, you can sign up for three months, you can sign up, but you can sign up month to month. And mm. so if you just want to come in and be like, Hey, I'm, Try I out. really want to dedicate this month to myself and I want to be fitter and you can come on and do that. Yes, because uh, some sports have a, a season. So, like, if uh, you race motocross, for instance, you, you want to race motocross and supercross someday, it's yeah. seasonal. You know, you only race for four months out of the year. Um, for those four months, sign up. Get in shape right before, right during, and after. When and, we went to the CrossFit yes, Games, they had uh, just kind of, like, in between the different events, they had the motocross guys come out and just start doing all that stuff. And it was like, I've been doing it for CrossFit for X amount of years. And it was like, this is what – the this made my game just go up – exponentially you know for it's sure it's just like I'm, i've gotten so much better because of crossfit yeah i think it'd be awesome you guys will see my transformation when i joined crossfit he's going to be racing motocross he's going to be snowboarding surfing yeah, yeah. you name it jansen's yeah. going to do it all well that's the thing that, 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 like, you're just training for life like if you I, i'll go snowboarding i'll go mountain biking I'll, and i'll keep up with anybody i play with my daughter i go out and just it's you, you it helps be you active it, it, it does and, and it no does, matter what you do challenge always, accepted for you're everything always thinking about something yeah like when, when i when I went to just the parks and different things and you get them out and you see your kids playing and it's play with them, go out and do that, right. you know? And yeah. it's just like, you see those monkey bars, they start doing pull-ups on it. And it's just like, Oh, who's that freak? And it's like the, the person who is healthy. <laughs> <It's gonna live laughs> the guy that can. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And that's what I was saying. The gym's so much different. It's basically people go in there to get their cardio going, their, their upper body. Everybody wants big arms and this and that, but yeah. it takes a lot more than that to like, uh, to really be in shape all the way around. In other words, I see you guys go on your runs. You also do the fa fast paced walks. Um, then you come back, you work out, you train, you relax for a little bit, and then you get back on it, and then um, you send them home. Yeah, oh, for sure. Right. And just another great part about it is the fact that you don't need to worry about anything. You, you walk in the doors, the coach just starts telling you what to do. Hey, get out this piece of equipment. Get out this dumbbell. Get you out got this. a personal then, coach. Right, that's pretty cool. Every single class. I'm yeah. way better at taking orders than I am uh, yeah. to and, like and get I, in there and get it. Like, I, <laughs> yeah, I've got to. You wouldn't like know what you, to do. I've got to set up in my house, and it's just like, okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do the workout of the day. They call it the wad, the workout of the day. Wad. And and I'll and I'll, start, <laughs> and I'll start it and, and when I'm in my house by myself, and I'm like, ah. I don't really, I'm not going to finish this, you right. know, and you just, yeah. you'd lose motivation. But when it's you weird. have all your peers around you doing it, then it's like, Let's you're going to finish it. Yeah, right. I'm going to go faster. I'm going to do more. And so it, it gives you that account accountability to get it done. And it's just, it's just being in better shape makes you feel better. Like I said, and that's what, what I think CrossFit's so important for people to do is because your whole body feels from it, not just your arms, yeah. your legs, your or mental game, your, your whole body, your brain too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And um, I think it's cool what you do next door, and maybe you can get me and Jansen on a workout. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I think it's necessary. We have, we have some, even if you're just kind of afraid and you would want some. Uh, We're scared. Write, write some, yeah, right, right. You're going to write some workouts for your home, Jim. Uh, like I say, though, it's CrossFit is – anybody can do CrossFit, but it's not for everybody. Right. Because it's, yeah. it's hard work. You're not going to go in there and be like – Oh, I didn't feel like I got a, didn't get a workout today. Like you, you're gonna get pushed. Yeah, you know? every and time. So it, 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 it's dedication. My first time that I went, I literally threw up. I went with Gonzo, and I threw up. I, I, man, I've seen people I, come out and dude, do that. This guy's an athlete. He was up there just ripping pull ups and doing well, and it was like, it's it's easy to coach someone like you because you just come in and you can do it. I can do it, but I threw up. It was 20 pounds before, but I I'm, just I just I get excited. It, I get excited. What happens is uh, you always want an excuse. Oh, my hours or this or that or when really you can make it work. So Oh, for sure. It's time. Yeah. But if there's not anything else, I mean, I think we can wrap it up. You know, um, go join Mitch and join the Heat Wave CrossFit community. Um, if you want to change your life for the better, he has all the information, technology, the staff, he's the personnel. So go check it out. It's definitely a great move. 4669 Apollo Road. Right, right, next right to that Finley by Auto. Finley Used yeah. Car Center down here. We're right next door. Yeah. Right where we run our internet department. But definitely check him out. Check him out on Instagram. A great man right here. He uh, he pushes everybody. We all love him here. So, again, thank you so much for joining us, Bro Chacho. Thanks, my man. God bless you Pleasure. so much. Thank you, Mitch. And we'll right. see you guys again. Later. Peace. All right, cool. Cool. That was